Hello, this is Cynthia in the Teaching Learning Center, and this tutorial will, is one of several that will help you to learn about Blackboard portfolios. Right, to access the portfolios page from the global navigation in the top right corner of your screen, you'll click the arrow next to your name, click on the Tools link, and choose Portfolios. That brings you to the My Portfolios page. Okay, from here you can see that I have two portfolios created. Um, on the left side of the screen, you'll um, obviously this is a My Portfolios page. My artifacts, there are many different ways to bring in artifacts into this portfolio space as well as to access them from your portfolio itself. And this is where you would um, access portfolios that have been shared with you. In one of the tutorials, you'll also learn how to share your portfolio with others. All right. So let's go back to my portfolios. Just, let's just take a quick look at different ways that you could display your portfolios. This is listed in a table, okay, over on the right-hand side, view as a table. That's the default setting. Or you could also view it as what they call cards, all right? So you have all the same options. It just is viewed, displayed a little bit differently. So I'm just going to go back to the table view. To create a new portfolio, we're we'll just going to click Create Portfolio. We'll give it a name. So say, for example, as you're going through the whole program, you're just going to want to keep your um, best work. And so this is you can keep it within this one portfolio. You have the option to select a portfolio template. And right now, we only have two, one specifically for this Administrative Support Professional Program designed by um, one of the instructors. And this one is for faculty going through um, a new professional development program. So there, there really isn't much for, the, for most of us. But um, otherwise, um, we'll just stay with the default template. Um, you can provide a description if desired. Okay. You can make the, the portfolio available and or your comments, um, keep them private if you like or not. That's up to you. Just change those settings as you desire and click Submit. Okay. This will take you on a tour of all the pieces of the portfolio if you like. Otherwise, you can just click No Thanks and that brings you to the portfolio page. From here, you can create several pages. So, if you wanted, if you're in a, if this is your program portfolio, you might want each page to be the name of each course you're taking. So, to edit the page, you're just going to click the pencil next to that, and then just add that. So, course you know, number one, whatever the name of your course would be, um, and then just click save. So you can have to add more pages over on the left. That's what this plus sign is. Okay, that's to add a page. So say I wanted to have my course number, oops, number two, you know, and so on. But of course, you'd actually put the name of the course more than likely. Then click save. So you can see that the pages are building up here, and under each page you have sections. Okay, so maybe, you know, from beginning to midterm or something, whatever you want to call the sections of the course. Um, and to edit that section name, again, you're just going to click the plus sign to the right of that section. Okay, and you can call it whatever you want, maybe week one. You could add text, just type right in this text box related to week one, then just click save. Or you could actually add an artifact. Artifacts can be items that you upload from your own computer that you've you know, built. Or from within a course, you can save an online assignment as an artifact. That's the only, uh, the only item within a course that you can actually save as an artifact. And we'll look in another video about how to access those artifacts. Okay, so just um, the kind of the bones of creating a portfolio, um, you've kind of give it a name, you've de designated how many pages you want within this portfolio, you know how to rename um, and add sections. To add another section within course two, that's what these plus signs are for. So you can add another section before this one or after this one. Okay, so to add sections, it's these plus signs. To add pages, it's this plus sign. You can add a header by just clicking the pencil and adding your text as well as a footer. All right. Now if you want to change the actual name of the portfolio, then on the, this top right area we'll click Settings. That brings us to that original page we were on. You 
can change the name here, add a description or edit a description, or change any of those settings. Okay. To um, kind of take a look at what this will look like, um, to see what this will look like, and to customize a little bit the, the layout and the colors, we'll click Preview and Customize. So I did add a little bit of content under the section so it would make a little sense as we uh, look through the different layout options. All right, so to change the layout and or the colors of the background, we're going to click Customize Style. And we have four layout options, okay? The default is Layout 1, which gives the page numbers on the left and then the, the content of each particular page um, on the right. Okay, so that's layout one. So layout two, it takes a minute to change, um, is the opposite. The pages are listed on the left and the content is on the right. On the, I mean, the pages are listed on the right, the content on the left. Layout three is the same, but the, the pages are a little bit higher, not very much difference really. And layout four, um, the pages are on top, listed across the top. All right, so those are the options for layout. Um, and so for color, you have um, colors similar to the different um, themes in Blackboard courses. Okay, so if I chose coral, you can see it's just going to be this background color, and the color of your text will also change to match the theme. Okay, so you can go through these and decide which one you like. Once you've chosen um, the layout and color you want, click Save, and then click Close. That brings us to that editing page again. You don't see the themes and layout as you're editing, but if you share this portfolio with someone else, they'll see your portfolio with whatever layout and theme you've chosen. Okay, so that's under Preview and Customize. And so once you're finished editing and choosing your layout and all, you'll just click Done Editing and that returns you to the My Portfolios page. All right. So that's just the bones about how to um, create a portfolio. In the next tutorials, you'll learn how to add um, artifacts as well as how to share your portfolios. All right. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact the Teaching Learning Center. Thank you.